about Cardi. Um, it is one of the biggest insults. If black Americans are not insulted by the fact that Joe Biden, who has been hiding in his basement, um, you know, for the entire year, made an appearance and came out because he was going to do an interview with Cardi B. Do we, do we have nothing better to offer? I mean, this would be akin to Donald Trump saying, I'm going to give no interviews, but he came up and he decided to give an interview to Justin Bieber. Right. I mean, which I actually, Justin Bieber, I am sorry. I know you're a Christian man. I don't want to put you in the same boat as Cardi B. Um, but it, it would be absurd. Right? White America would go, what, what is this? Why are, why are you being interviewed by Justin Bieber? Uh, hmm. So basically, she's, she's speaking about. Um, uh, Cardi B situation. Cardi B having an interview with Joe Biden. Right. It's kind of like, I, I kind of get what she's saying in a way. It's like Justin Bieber interviewing Donald Trump. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, nobody really wants to hear that. But sometimes I feel like even Joe Biden being on The Breakfast Club and shit, like, I feel like, like they're trying to, like, convince us on, hey, vote for me, guys, because you guys don't like Donald Trump and remember he's a racist <laughs> so we gotta we gotta make sure we get him out of here what well, I tell you is if they don't play for the same team man come on man. let's keep playing the Andrew 26101 one show And it's because you're pandering, right? You're pandering. You look at Cardi B's Instagram, you see she has millions of followers, and you think, okay, this is an illiterate person, and if I if I appeal to this illiterate person, and she does, oh, like she literally did uh, uh, in, in the middle of this interview. You know what? If I kill somebody, I got to go to jail. You got to go to jail, too. <laughs> this interview was a joke. You're liberal, constitution, delivery, the party, whatever the fuck. I'm sorry, guys. I'm, I've just been drinking on that yak. So, okay. <laughs> all right, man, all serious note, man. All right, I'm going to stop fucking around, man, but come on, man. You're supposed to be the future United States president, president of the United States of America, and you're being interviewed by okay. Cardi B. How does this even sound, man? Like th th this, this is just weird. This is the same chick that talk about licking my poo tang, eating my poo tang. I just can't take this shit serious, man. I that's why I'm joking around with this shit. Man. I'm having fun with this. Anyway, let's keep playing, man. Those those y'all might get offended. Some of y'all might be Democrats, hardcore Democrats or Republicans, man. I'm making fun of this because I think this is hilarious. It looks weird. It looks like some sort of version of look at look at this at this nigga's face, man. Why does he always look so angry? He's supposed to be a dude that's for the people, but he always looks so he look like one of the he look like <laughs> He look like one of them goddamn slave man. Hey ba hey, come here ba <laughs> I know you don't don't fit picking off that cotton. He look like one of them damn slave masters, man. Let's keep playing. That's another one. And they think she's cool. She's hip just by sitting here and, and taking this interview. Black people will vote for me. It's basically saying, black people, you are stupid. You are dumb. And you're so foolish. I mean, do you think, what if she had just said in the middle of the interview, Joe Biden, can you name one Cardi B album? Confession. Okay. Hold up, guys. Basically saying, black people, you are stupid. You are dumb. And you're so foolish. I mean, do you think, what if she had just said in the middle of the interview, Joe Biden, can you name one Cardi B album? So, uh, I'm not going to show my face in this video. I look like shit. I feel like shit. I'm a little sick. And I don't know why the devil been fucking trying me today. But I'm going to give demons a response today. I'm going to give the devil a response today. Oh, she getting spiritual. So, let me tell you something, right? 
It is not a secret that I use my platform for people to vote. Let me tell you something about Cardi B, man. This is this is the only type of points I give Cardi B is that she's very passionate, man. She's a very passionate woman, very passionate about anything she does. That I I see why her fan base, why people love her so much, right? It's because Cardi is very passionate about anything she does. And passion really draws people, draws attention. So I know I probably got some Cardi B fans that's on here, you know. Maybe some Cardi B fans that might not like certain things I may say or you know, because oh, you need to be sticking up for her. No, I don't. Because I don't stick up for women that talk constantly about their poo nanny or their poo tang pie and how great it is. And you want to get a lick of it all the time. And I'm just not really too fond with people talking about, you know, falling in love with their genital parts. But anyways, just keep on playing. I love politics. I endorse the Democratic Party. Everybody knows I don't really fuck with you like that. And y'all don't see this because, you know, y'all don't... Can you imagine her? <laughs> Can you imagine this, chick? Can you imagine her... Being up on a pole? Like, in a debate. I think it would be hilarious. Not only, let me tell you something. She wouldn't do it, number one. It's because Candace, honestly, if, 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 Cardi B, if Cardi B doesn't get any type of media train, like training how to be, how to speak on podiums, you know, training how to engage in that type of atmosphere when it comes down to, you know, giving out speeches regarding to the economy, she is going to get wiped off the face of this planet. All right. So she's going to need some sort of a uh, politician training when it comes down to, you know, debating. I'm just saying, do y'all feel the same way? Y'all may feel different, but I'm just saying, I just think Candace Owens would wax the floor off this ass. I'm just saying. I'm be paying attention, but I get harassed by Trump supporters so much. And there are some Trump supporters that are like celebrity Trump supporters. Like, oh, that they, they just have like a huge. So I guess there's no celebrity Biden supporter. <laughs> they just harass me, those Trump supporters. I don't think Trump supporters are harassing you at all. I think it's just people who say bad things about you, which is kind of like. Maybe there's some truth to it. I mean, let's just face it. You were a stripper who had to shake your nanas and show your tatas to the whole world to see, right? Cool. Fair enough. And uh, people were loved and appreciated by you because you came from the slums. I get it. And I listen, I was a fan of Cardi B when she was on the Love and Hip Hop because I was like, damn, man, this girl's just trying to make it, man. You go ahead and go for yourself. Go do what you got to do. But damn, man, when she started coming out with these crazy ass, crazy ass videos. About, mm, when I wake up in the morning, I I swallow that ding dong like it ain't nothing. I'm going to tell y'all, yeah, she's how to swallow the ding dong right. You know, she's giving instruction guides on how to swallow, swallow sticks and swords. I'm trying to peek at PG-13 here, folks. But she gives tutorial videos out on IG on how to swallow swords. And who is her biggest fans in America? Young kids, right? We got to be real. Do you really want your kids to be listening to stuff like this, man? I mean, honestly, man, I, I wouldn't want none of my kids to be listening to shit like this either. Just, just think about it, man. Cardi B makes music for younger kids, the younger generation. Not for people my, my, my generation. People in their 30s ain't going to be twerk. Well, then again, good God. I might be wrong there. Don't even answer that. Let's keep on playing. Good God. Huge platform. And they be coming for me every single day. 
They be degrading me. They be making fun of me. Everything. I ignore them. I don't give a fuck. Only time I never uh, that I. Okay, what are some things that you can degrade Cardi B by? I just, I, I just want to know. Like, I'm just trying to figure out what are some things that Cardi B could be degraded by. I mean, as far as we know, she degrades herself on the stuff that she puts out. I mean, she calls herself a whore. And she does this in the music industry. But hey, it's just music. I get it. It's entertainment, guys. I get it. I get it. It is entertainment. And maybe Cardi B is not this type of a person. Because it's just entertainment. But we're not talking about the Cardi B being this person. Because obviously, she's a mother. And I'm pretty sure she's handling herself a lot different. But Cardi B... Is the message and the music that you're putting out that these young girls really believe you really are about that. But the older folks know that you're doing this for money. We get it. Sex sells. You got to appease to the masses to get that money. We get it. At least a lot of us conservative, logical people get it. We, we get it. You got to do what you got to do. Make your money. But at the same time, man. And please, I hope I hope I have no Cardi B fans on here because y'all are too damn grown to be acting like this. I hope that people be following me, don't be shaking their asses and twerking, man, because I don't want no twerkers and shaking asses on my channel. Please, this is for the grown and sexy, man. We got to have some grown women, man. You know what I mean? And if you so happen to be a ha on my show, I'm just going to show the world how stupid you are. <laughs> I'm just saying. Anyways, let's keep playing. I've been going hard. Let me tell you something. She gets so intense that a Trump supporter posted my address and encouraged people to dox my home, Ooh. to fire my, to to put my house on fire. I to literally hired hired a private investigator. Okay. Now, uh, hmm. If this is true, and not not saying that it's false. And I'm saying it's not true because celebrities get harassed a lot. They do. They get harassed a lot. But majority of the time, people who are harassing them, I guarantee you, aren't Trump supporters. But they're actually radical young kids. It, 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 that, the kid ended up having to be a 14-year-old. I'm not saying there ain't no kids that are 14-year-olds that, you know, are not Trump supporters. But come on. Let's just be honest and be real here, man. You can't blame it on a Trump supporter for somebody who's harassing you. I mean, it's totally wrong for somebody to harass you. But I'm just speaking logical terms. You cannot... What's the word, man? You cannot point fingers and say oh it must be a trump supporter because you got harassed by some kid how do you know if they're trump supporters what if they're just regular kids who just don't like you or maybe they're just fanatics that they end up wanting to blow your shit because you don't give them attention like it's not your fault it's only one of you it's not a million of y'all of you i should say cardi but you gotta understand this is what you signed up for I mean, there's crazy fanatics out there that's going to do crazy shit. But please, I don't think it was a Trump supporter. If it was, then that's fucked up. But that doesn't exclude that all Trump supporters are going to be like that. That's just an individual being stupid and reckless. You know, it's just like somebody having a gun and protecting themselves. That's their constitutional rights, depending on what state and city regulations that they stay in right fair enough but if somebody's happens to want to grab a gun and shoot somebody without any type of cause of having to defend themselves then it becomes an act of action a homicide murder you know which i i know the cases is crazy when it comes down to gun laws listen hey if they could 
ban all guns around the United States of America, I would be happy. I would be happy. But here's the thing. When you can't get a hold to your guns, bad people do. And bad people always end up knowing how to get to shit before good people do. That's just a known fact. So why not have it legalized so people can defend themselves and exercise their constitutional rights? Why not? If you don't F with anybody, nobody's going to F with you. That's how it should be. Hey, how you doing? Boom, 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 boom. Are you trespassing? Are you trespassing on my property? Uh, listen, I know there's some people who get a little bit antic over it. I get it. Those are people who shouldn't have guns. That just quick to want to pull out a gun because they see somebody on the property. See, that's not the way you're supposed to act. That's not what they teach you in being disciplined in gun school. Hold on. I can't talk to you right now, lady. Most important woman of my life, my mom. She's calling me right now. But I can't talk to her right now. But for real. On a serious note, you cannot go outside reckless and just point your gun. You got to be in a probable cause on where you have to defend yourself. There's schools for that. And also, you've got to be a sane person. You can't be a person who's a lunatic with a gun. I think that's the problem, too, with America. Is that they think every person who has a gun is a lunatic. It's crazy. No. There's some people who don't want to pull out their guns. Those are the ones I feel safe around. Because those are the ones I'll pull the shit out if their life is in danger. They ain't going to pull it out on some dumb shit. Because, see, I'm afraid to pull a pistol. No. But if my life... Is that danger? You're damn right I'm going to pull that bitch out. Because I'm not dying. <laughs> For what? I didn't start the shit. Let's keep playing. And served him with a roar and arrest this boy. Mind you, this boy was a fucking teenager. His parents were fucking shook. Oh, wow. Anyways. So, today, one of the <laughs> most popular Trump supporters, which is Candace Owens, Really, yo, she really. So, his parents got shook, right? I get it, cause they don't want to shit. Look at you, you got multi millions. Whatever you say goes. So I, I, I get it, but at the same time, how you know they Trump supporters? Did they wear mega hats? <laughs> Yo, come on, man. So every person that does something crazy, oh, they're probably Trump supporters. Listen, man, I'm not saying Donald Trump is a saint, but he's just a grandfather that everybody can't stand. Cause he's a little old school with it. But at the same time, listen, we need some disobedience in this motherfucker. People were fucking crazy. They're going out of hand. They don't know how to act. They act stupid. People going up. Look at Chicago for crying out loud, man. Chicago is disgusting, man. It's disgusting. That, Chicago should be like Atlanta when it comes down to businesses, man. Of how many blacks are in Atlanta right now. I mean, in Chicago right now. They ain't civilized, man. They got a neighborhood. They don't want to turn it upside down. They, they don't want to own convenience stores. And charging people. You know what I'm saying? How could you even work at those bodegas in those spots in those Chicago areas, man? Knowing that the fact that it's always a gun warfare out there all the time. Just imagine living in out there. Just imagine, like, having to be nervous and scared at night, man. Because you hear gunshots all the time. Like, you can't even go out to the grocery store without a possible... Like, you don't even know if you're going to make it back home that day. I bet you everybody do their grocery shopping like real early in the morning because they know that the fuck niggas probably go to sleep around 6 o'clock in the morning. The reason why I call them fuck niggas. You know the ones that have their pants hanging down low and they want to be on some gangster shit all the time. Man, come on, man. Them niggas. Come on, man. We got to get it together, folks, man. 
I understand. I was into the nigga shit too. Sometimes I still am. But I do it for fun purposes and I love to have a good time with it. But listen, I'm a born again Christian, man. You know, I even though I tell jokes and I joke around and say some dumb shit, you know. At the same time, I just point out dumb shit for what it is. You know? But let's keep playing. Said some real nasty things about me. Because Joe Biden and Joe Biden sat down with me to speak with me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I saw that interview. And you want to know something? Two weeks ago, Fox News were really talking shit about me too because Joe Biden sat down with me to do the interview. But let me tell you something, right? You got your so listen. What? Joe Biden's okay. First of all, <laughs> Fox News had you on here. Facts. Fox News had you on. They were talking about you, not have you on there. I'm sorry. Fox News was talking about you, Miss Cardi B. Fox News was talking about you because you decided to point your nose at the politics. You decided to want to get an interview with Mr. Joe Biden. So, of course, if you're talking about stuff with political things, Fox News is going to talk about it because you started to talk about political things when you decided to get Joe Biden on the goddamn, what's I'm gonna call it? Video camera with you and the interview. You acting like you goddamn. You work for MSNBC and shit. Show ghetto ass. Good God. Come on, man. Come on. We we really gotta think, people, man. We really gotta think. Use your minds, man. The shit don't make no sense, man. Let's keep playing. Why wouldn't Joe Biden sit down with me, Cardi B? I have millions of followers. So? And I pay millions in taxes. Okay, you have millions in dollars. And you pay millions in taxes. So? What does that prove, Cardi B? You pay millions of dollars and millions of taxes. So? I'm still trying to get to the point here, but just keep playing. I have the number one song in this country. I got oh, now she has the number one song in this country. Yay. Yay. I have the number one song in fucking the United Kingdom. I have the number one song in <laughs> Australia. I got the number one song in New Zealand. I'm, I'm, I'm heard all around the world. Okay. So just like I can make people pop their pussy. <laughs> Just so she can make people pop their poo tang, that doesn't mean I'm not a woman and I'm not speaking on some real issues. See, Candace Owens about to wax this ass. I'm not even trying to talk about Candace Owens because we already know she's going to speak some real political issues and shit and what's going on with the economy. So we're not going to talk about, you can't make fun of Candace Owens. All ignorant motherfuckers want to say, oh, she a coon. Oh, she for the white man. Oh, she's just a kid. You know those those type of black folks that say that? Man, you country bunking ass niggas. Man, y'all need to get your educations right, man. Go to school, man. Start thinking right, man. Don't you know the Democratic Plantation? The Democratic Plantation, they had you as slaves. They exchanged. I'm going to repeat this again. They exchanged. The Democratic Party exchanged your freedom by offering you Section 8 homes, a uh, uh, luxurious Section 8 homes uh, with a Hoover back room, and maybe two rooms with eight kids. You know what I'm saying? Come on, man. Oh, yeah, we'll give you everything in the world you want. You want you want health care? We'll give you that too. Just vote for us. <laughs> We'll give you anything in the world. Now they're trying to get other new immigrants. I don't know if blacks are really, really understanding this now, okay? We've been in this country for the longest time and we're part of the immigration. Immigrants. Okay, I find that very offensive being called an immigrant or a minority. Because it's, it's kind of like offensive in a way. Well, they wouldn't call me an immigrant, they'll call me a, a minority. How am I a minority? It makes me seem like, oh, you're a second-class citizen from being an American. I was born in this country. I'm not a minority. 
I'm part of the majority. This is the type of mental fuck that I felt black people were were feeling for the longest time, man. And now we're starting to wake up. A lot of starting to wake up. Like, yo, this is not the lives. This is not the future that we want to be in. Black people. We need to be educated people, bro. To be empowered. We got to be educated. We got to stop killing each other. We got to start thinking like, yo, let's get this money together, bro. Let's stop hating no matter what we do. But we got to start doing things that doesn't influence sexed out sexual culture that's the that's the problem they get us with the sexual culture because this is what we're living in everybody's for themselves women have become lovers of themselves women have become lovers of themselves they don't even look at men anymore traditional values are out the door men and women don't even look at each other the same anymore there's no chivalry there's no Submissiveness. So, what has happened to America? I'll tell you what's happened to America. And I'll say it again social media. Just think about it. Social media has destroyed the dating life. Social media has destroyed you. It started off with MySpace. Okay, hey, we can meet each other and be good friends and get to know each other. Cool. Then it went off to Facebook. Oh, you could locate your uh, classmates that you've graduated five, ten years ago. Or you can locate that lost grandmother or those lost family members that you haven't seen in a while, especially if you hit the lottery, because they will all start hitting you up and mentioning your name. Hey. Remember me? I'm a lost cousin over here in uh, Nebraska. You know what I've realized from social media? It has turned your best friends into demons. I see people trying to be something that they're not. And don't get me wrong, we all fall victim to it, man. Even myself. And that takes a lot for somebody like me to admit that shit. Because I was fucked up. I was duped. I was brainwashed to a democratic, liberal, not just that, but that's just in politics. I'm just going to talk about it overall experience. Because that's just like the Republicans, the way they were talking. That's cool. That's fine. I can get along with some of y'all and certain things that y'all say. Because as being conservative, that doesn't mean you have to pick a side. I'm in the middle with this one, okay? But at the same time, I got to favor the Republicans because they're right on this perspective when it comes down to social media and also the hidden agendas that's been forced upon us as people. I've been talking about it for the longest time. They try to shut my mouth. YouTube doesn't want me to have a voice. I understand that sometimes I go inadvertently. I talk about other things. I get to the world star shit. And I was like, okay, well, let me stay with the world star stuff. And kind of entertain guys a little bit. Trying to build up that, you know, that, uh, try to build up that, that, that reputation, you know, of, uh, getting to know people. But then I started to do other things and I'm like, all right, cool. But anyway, let's keep playing. And have a good time and make them feel like a bad bitch. I could also encourage millions of followers to go vote. Now you're saying that Joe Biden is pandering because he's using, you know, like a popular figure, figure like me. All right. But your president, <laughs> the guy that you fucking love so much. He's trying here. He panders as well, too. And ironically, this is the reason why I have to fucking stand up. Okay. Because let me tell you something, bitch. Oh. I pay so much money in taxes. And you know who she's talking <laughs> <laughs> she talk about Candace Michelle. Let me tell you something, bitch. <laughs> That's the only time Cardi B gets real. When she starts getting with that southern hood ass, that southern hood ass ratchet. Spanish side comes out, then you see it. I'm a good American. I don't bother nobody. My little sister, she's a good American. She don't bother nobody. She barely posts on Instagram. And this...
Hold on, hold on for a second. Girl can't even go to the beach with her girlfriend today in fucking the Hamptons without getting some without getting fucking harassed by Trump supporters. My sister was at the beach. She talk about getting stuck in the Hamptons. Now listen, man. The Hamptons is a very upscale rich area. Okay? It's a very upscale rich area. So <laughs> there's a lot of security out there. Yo. How the hell them kids are gonna sneak past the security and the and the guard dogs and shit? Come on, man. Cardi. I don't know. Some some just don't smell too right here, man. I don't I don't I, I don't know, man. I don't think you being a attack like that, man. For some reason. Something's telling me like, mmm. I don't know. Her girlfriend went to the car. But then again, I could be wrong. Could be wrong. I could be wrong. So let's keep playing. Fucking harassed by Trump supporters. But how you know they're Trump supporters? My sister was at the beach. Her girlfriend went to the car, and these motherfuckers started fucking talking crazy to my sister's girlfriend. Then my sister girlfriend went, and you know Hennessy's crazy. They started telling my sister, "Oh, why I talk to that?" Now, <laughs> those y'all who don't know Cardi B's sister Hennessy, well, this is what she looks like. This is Hennessy. <laughs> so y'all don't know how and quote unquote her words this bitch operates <laughs> i had this this and that when my sister went they phone out they talk down because they already they, they already know they already know what's going on they already know they already catching on that niggas is getting recorded what so the same day you harass me is the same day that my sister's getting harassed uh -huh. A bitch that pay her taxes. A bitch don't have a fucking criminal record. Okay, so you refer to your sister as a bitch. Such great words. A bitch who's gonna be a rapper. A bitch who's gonna... Did she... She referred to her sister being a bitch. <laughs> wow. Such great words. Now, they talk down because they already they, they already know they already know what's going on they already know they already catching on that niggas is getting recorded so the same day you harass me is the same day that my sister's getting harassed a bitch that pay her taxes a bitch don't have a fucking criminal record mm. And you out here wondering why Joe Biden is doing a fucking interview with me. Because you want to know why? Because no matter how much money I make, no matter how hard I work, <laughs> I can't fucking even be a, I can't be a fucking free American. Mm. My sister can't even be a fucking free American. So no matter how hard she work, she can't be an effing free American. She can't be a free American, guys. What do you think about that? You got this fucking Trump supporting family harassing two lesbians. <laughs> the fuck? I'm sorry. Yo, I was just watching on DBC, right? I was watching on DBC, and let me tell you something. Trump has a fucking commercial on DBC talking about Joe Biden has picked a, a Kamala Harris to be vice president. There were, I guess, four candidates that were running to be vice presidents, and they were Hispanic, and Joe Biden didn't pick them. Hispanic made $2.4 billion to the economy. Is Hispanic people not enough for Joe Biden? Why Why is your president doing that type of commercial and Ooh. putting that shit on Univision? Why are you pandering? Why, are you, why is your president... So in other words... So in other words, oh, Cardi might have caught a big fish with this one against the Republican Party. Because she did say, why is it that your president is pandering to the Latin American community, telling them stuff about what your president, Joe Biden, wants to do? What? Check this out, man. Let's just rewind this one more time. Joe Biden has picked a, a Kamala Harris to be vice president. There were, I guess, four candidates that were running to be vice presidents, and they were Hispanic, and Joe Biden didn't pick them. 
Hispanic made two point four billion dollars to the economy. Mm. Is Hispanic people not enough for Joe Biden? Why why is your president doing that type of commercial and putting that shit on Univision? Why are uh, that's a way of dividing though if that is possible because if you look at it the commercial that's on Telemundo si punto tres, is showing that the video that's being shown is showing that Trump sending people over there Or, no, 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 I'm sorry. Is it, Well, I'm a little confused here. I guess it's showing that... I guess it's showing that Joe Biden is showing... A, I'm sorry, I don't mean to laugh. It's showing that Joe Biden is showing a video over there showing that he's not picking all the Latin people but picking Ken the Ryan. <laughs> like all, so, there was a lot of Hispanic category like candidates, but he decided not to pick them Joe Biden, but he picked the black African-American woman so in a way it's kind of like putting blacks and browns against each other Whew. This country is so evil boy. I tell you See I'm with Cardi B on this one on that particular moment but I think it's not solely just Democrats I mean, solely just Republicans, I should say, in your point of view. But it's also Democrats as well. And to be quite honest with you, blacks and Latinos and Latinas, neither of these parties really give a shit about us. To be quite honest with you, we're just being pawns in this game. They know who's the majority and who's the minority. So, we're just getting played. <laughs> this, um, this country is crazy let's keep playing i'm just saying i just point out the obvious why are you pandering why are you why is your president fucking race baiting against hispanic and black people wow is he doing that the people that get killed the most mm. by police bitch oh by police bitch you want to call me a dumb bitch you want to call me illiterate and everything girl you're getting picked out by a white man you know, when Cardi B gets mad, she gets real. And I, and and even though conservatives can't <laughs> really understand it, I get it. I totally get it. So I understand it from Cardi B's perspective of things. Because whenever she's be like, "You dumb bitch." <laughs> you know she's serious. She goes in. So shout out to Cardi B on this one, man. I know I sound so confusing right now. Oh, Andrew, why are you going to shout out for her? Listen, idiots. I told you already, I'm on nobody's side. I go for what I feel is right at that moment and what I think is dumb as shit. But let's keep on playing. Ding, ding, ding. Score one for Cardi B. Bitch, you want to call me illiterate and everything? Girl, you're getting picked out by a white man. Ooh. You have been this man cheerleader, oh. you're a beautiful black woman, you talk great, amazing, and you fucking support, are you beyond <laughs> supporting Trump? And this nigga didn't even have the decency to let you talk in the Republican convention, but you know what he did? Oh. He put the general attorney that's in charge of Breonna Taylor case. Wow. A Breonna Taylor case that hasn't said a word, but haven't said a word to his own people. A black man that haven't said his a word to his own people by a black woman that got killed. Listen, man, politics is dirty, and I'm just being real with you. I don't trust nobody. You know what I'm saying? You know what I was always told? Don't trust the white man. No matter what team he plays for, they're all masters <laughs> to this shit. Listen, I know it's a hard pill for blacks, browns, and whatever other race or ethnicity groups. I can't even get the word right out. But listen, I'm part of that shit too. I'm laughing about the shit because all of us is fighting over two wars that don't even include us. North versus South. Republicans versus Democrats. Red versus Blue. 
It's always been like that, but now it's with politics. It's not with a physical war. Oh, boy. Still in the house, sleeping, but this nigga's got to go. A, a, a general attorney for motherfucking, uh, uh, for one of them, them, like, you know, not them big states like that. <laughs> And and uh, he picked him to talk in the fucking Republican convention, and not you. That you've been sucking this nigga dick for years. <laughs> My side uses you. You want to call me dumb? I'm not getting pimped out by a white man. Ooh. Ding ding ding. And you don't see that. And I don't know what black man broke your heart. Ooh. I don't know what black woman licked your pussy wrong. Ooh. That you hate your kind so much. Ooh. That you, you talking about Joe Biden be pandering. Your fucking president can pander because nobody fucks with him. Ooh. He was fucking crying because. Listen, man, I get you. See, this is why I love Cardi B because she's from the South Bronx, though, man. I got to represent my people in the South Bronx. Boogie, boogie, boogie. But really and truly, man, listen. If you're from the hood, you can understand the passion. You can you could feel the passion, feel the po the energy that she's passionate about what she's saying. This is what makes Cardi B so great, even though it may not be 100% logical. But this is why people love Cardi B. I see why they love her. I see why women love her. I see why even men love her. So you got to give respect to this female for speaking what's on her mind, regardless if you don't like what she got to say. Even though I was cracking on you a little bit at the beginning. <laughs> In the beginning, Cardi. But listen, you got my respect. Because when she gets mad, she gets passionate, man. I see why. I see why one of the Migo members fell in love with her. Like, man, she real, though, cuz. So, but she passionate. She very passionate. But shout out to you. Even though I think you might be wrong, but hey. Shout out to you. But let's keep playing. Football players don't fuck with them. Mm. So what are you talking about? Mm. I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna keep sending my millions of followers to vote until we get your president out of here. I'm tired of this. I'm tired of this. She tired of it. Your fucking favorite president told people to. Candace Owens, you ain't getting your poo tang licked right. That's the problem with you, biatch. <laughs> you ain't getting your poo tang licked right. Drink bleach. Ooh. What? Yeah, I said that in my last video. You wanted an answer for me, Candace Owens? You've been coming for me for such a long time. You got the answer today. The only reason why I answer you today is... <laughs> that nigga Trump said drink bleach. <laughs> And you know the funniest thing is people actually go do the shit too. Uh, go ahead, little bit of bleach. <laughs> oh God, this nigga say, put some bleach. Bleach is the way of getting rid of corona. This nigga boy. It's because of the shit that happened with my fucking sister. Other than that, bitch. Oh. Wake up. Wake up. Well, I mean, your sister is a hoe, and she's a dirty scoundrel rat. <laughs> I mean, she mess around with women like dudes who look like women. Come on, man. Ain't nobody care about dudes. Don't care about that. Ain't nobody want to see that shit. But keep playing. Go outside. Go outside. Why is she so angry? Go outside. Nigga just got shot. Seven times in his back. The president haven't said nothing about that. But you, but you know what your president is out here doing? He's he's fucking he's fucking doing speeches talking about why they need to take poor people from fucking white suburban countries, from white suburban um uh, neighborhoods. Those are not the only Americans. I mean, I gotta give a credit on this though. I gotta give Cardi B some credit on this because this kind of hits hard. This kind of hits hard because Obama did mention people who got shot. You know, like whenever there was a situation, even with white folks, even tragedy with white kids, he he mentioned everything. Even Obama mentioned about uh, 
the the incidents that happened within black on black crime and stuff like that. But I wish he would have acted upon more on it. You know what I'm saying? Instead of being a, an inspired motiva motivational speaker, don't get me wrong, he's a wonderful speaker. He is. Obama is wonderful. But at the same time, like all presidents, man, y'all need to act on what you're saying, man. No matter who you are, Republicans, Democrats, you know what I'm saying? I'm just saying. White suburban Americans are not the only Americans in this country. That's true. I give her credit on that. Ding, ding, ding. Facts. She. <laughs> You wanted an answer? Here you go. You have it. Now leave me alone, bitch. I'm about to go drink some fucking chicken noodle soup. Okay, so she said, leave me alone, bitch. I'm about to <laughs> drink some chicken noodle soup. I'm done. Okay, so let's get the uh, conservative perspective of Candace Owens and see what she has to say. Oh, what is up, Instagram? <laughs> I'm going live on Instagram. This is the second time I've ever gone live on Instagram, but I just felt like I really wanted to clear the air on this Cardi B nonsense. My bad. Um, so first and foremost, Cardi, I watched your story and <laughs> it sounds very funny. Um, first off, <laughs> I'm saying it's funny because you just it's just ridiculous to me that you even take anything that I said as offensive when I'm telling you the truth. Ooh. Um, and I think if anything, you're only upset because people are telling you on Twitter that you got dragged because you did get dragged because you are uneducated when it comes to politics. Ooh. That's first things first. Um, I was not, I'm sure Ben Shapiro was not, we were not meaning to attack you. We're just simply telling the truth, which is the fact that Joe Biden did not spend the whole year in his basement to come up because he's a big Cardi B fan and sit down <laughs> with you. He thinks you're an idiot. And yo. Y'all understand what she's trying to say right now? She's insulted Cardi B with intelligence. Oh, my God. Candace Owens is a genius, man. When it comes down to mental capacity, man, this woman is trained. Do you hear what she just said? Man, I got to rewind that shit back. This shit was crazy, man. Ding, 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 ding. One for Candace. Let's go. Nonsense. Um, so first and foremost, Cardi, I watched your story and it sounds very funny. Um, <laughs> first off, <laughs> I'm saying it's funny because you just, it's just ridiculous to me that you even take anything that I said as offensive when I'm telling you the truth. Um, and I think if anything, you're only upset because people are telling you on Twitter that you got dragged because you did get dragged because you are uneducated when it comes to politics. That's first things first. Oh, you are uneducated when it comes to politics. That's first things first do you know this beef this little this fizzle beef between cardi b and candace owens is this could be epic epic battle of proportions she said you are uneducated when it comes to politics that's a way of insulting you with an intelligence and a perspective way of breaking you down with your ignorance and I don't even have to curse at you but see she's gonna draw more to the people who have more of a a third eye and a mindset of thinking on things it won't get to the overly emotional people because most of the emotional people are not going to analyze and actually take what's going on here between these two as even a form of entertainment which I think it is it's great entertainment but people are actually going to take this really seriously. But uh, let's hear more what Candace has to say, man. First, um, I was not, I'm sure Ben Shapiro was not, we were not meaning to attack you. We're just simply telling the truth, which is the fact that Joe Biden did not spend the whole year in his basement to come up because he's a big Cardi B fan and sit down with you. He thinks you're an idiot. Ooh. And... You know, I just am encouraging you to stop proving him right. <laughs> <laughs> Cardi B, you a big idiot. In other words, stop trying to influence Joe Biden. He's a fan of yours. C 
coming out of his basement. Wanna do an interview? Oh, Cardi B. I love the way you were shaking that ass with Mac and Stallion. <laughs> Just think about it, man. Cardi B here thinking like, ah, so, mm, 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 are you a fan of mine? Yo, that shit is hilarious, bro. Candace Owens knows how to systematically break down Cardi B, bro. And she is a mastermind at that. She's a cerebral assassin and logical. Because, listen, man, man, you got to understand the art mind of combat, okay? It's not about physical contact, okay? The physicalness is gone. It's about mental. It's about how to mentally strategize your way to success. Let's keep playing. When you say ridiculous things like, I had to sit down with Joe Biden because my sister got attacked by a Trump supporter, Santa Claus, making it seem like Trump supporters are homophobic. A little education for you, Cardi B. That's what I said. That's exactly what I said. Like, Cardi B, why would you just label them as Trump supporters because you got attacked? Because you got, why does this bitch look like she got a black eye? Damn. Don't tell me your white prince is beating your ass up. Yeah, man. I know she got, she, did she get into a fight? I mean, listen, man. I know she's got the, man, she like she got the Vaseline on. <laughs> I know I'm so bad. But she look like she put some makeup on. Maybe this Maybelline. I don't know. She looks like she got a black eye, don't she? Use your third eye. Look, look very carefully, folks. Look very carefully. Look very carefully. Compared to these eyes, this eye look like it's swollen, man. Or maybe I'm seeing things. So maybe I'm just too high. All right, let's keep playing. Uh, Donald J. Trump is the first president that's ever gone into. Does she look like she got a black eye. Or maybe she ain't sleeping enough, man. Like that makeup ain't hiding that shit. Damn, she need to get some sleep office in support of gay marriage so you know those eight years that your presidential candidate joe biden spent um as the vice president with about obama they didn't support gay marriage going into office obama changed his tune on gay marriage in his um second term so the whole idea of trump being a homophobe is a bit pointedly ridiculous and shows how uneducated you are okay he may not be a homophobe i get that part but he is sure sexist <laughs> Yo, the stuff he be saying about women, bro, is crazy, bro. Back in them days. You know what I'm saying? Because I... <laughs> but he was a man's man. He's from New York. You know what I'm saying? Ain't he from Queens and shit? <laughs> All right, I'm going to get some bad, bad views for this one. All oh, they going to be mad. Boy, I tell you, I hope liberals don't get at me, man. Because I'm on both... I, listen, I'm on nobody's side. I'm in the middle. I'm just calling it like it is. If I see some dumb shit for what it is, I'll call it out. Then you came and you were talking about ta raising your taxes when you were on <laughs> talking to Joe Biden, saying that you want your taxes lowered, but at the same time you want universal health care. That's ignorant and stupid. And Joe Biden knows it's ignorant and stupid. Hey, listen. Yes, you are right. But you got to please forgive. Candace Owens, please forgive Cardi B, man. She doesn't do politics like you do. You are a cerebral assassin in politics. On the mic, when it comes down to touching people with passion, Cardi B does too. Have that part. But as far as... I mean, she got a little something there. She, she's starting to get trained a little bit from the Democrats. You can kind of see a little bit. The Democrats. You can kind of see... <laughs> I'm so bad. But listen, you can kind of see. But at the end of the day, man, you're not going to beat Candace Owens. In a one-on-one -on -one debate, man. It's just not going to happen, man. It's just not going to happen, man. This woman is a, just a built cerebral assassin. She's meant for combat and wars like this, man. This woman is on a mission, man. <laughs> I, would, I wouldn't even want to challenge her, bro. I'm just saying. I ain't no... You know, Poo-Tang. Can't say the word right, but come on, man. She's very educated when it comes down to that stuff. I'm just saying. And a lot of point of views that she say I agree with her on. But let's keep on playing as we get through to this sluttish hoe out of coach, y'all. Even all the people that want free health care and universal health care acknowledge that tax rates have to be astronomical to be able to support that. So you're talking about a 74% tax rate. You continually keep saying you have a number one song. It means shit. Ooh. Nobody cares about a song about your wet ass pussy. Excuse my language. <laughs> 
God, yo. She said, nobody gives a F about your wet ass. Man, can I get an award? She, ding, ding, ding. Candace always is leading right now, man. Just based on logic. Nobody gives a damn about your wet ass poonanny. Poonanny. Well, JJ, whatever you want to call it. Nobody gives a damn about that. She's speaking like all men would. Like, I'm tired of it. I'm tired of seeing too much of that, man. When you get to a certain age, man, you get... It, it just becomes tiring, man. Like, let's talk about real stuff. How to make money. How to empower ourselves, man. Nobody wants to hear about coochie all the time, man. And poon, poon tang. Come on, man. For my followers. Um... Being, num being number one, I have a number one song in the UK, I have a number one song in Australia, I have a number one song in New Zealand. That has nothing to do with black America and whether or not you are helping or hurting. Right now, you are hurting black America, okay? When you stand on a platform and you pretend to care about black men, when you ask Joe Biden, what are we going to do about these black men dying? He should have asked you back. You know what, man? I don't know if Candace is a good actress or she's actually being serious because if you hear that little gulp, you could tell she was crying. Like, she really felt that shit. Like, this. Wow. Hold on. Let me play this shit. This shit's crazy. Joe Biden, because my sister got attacked by a Trump supporter, Santa Claus, making it seem like Trump supporters are homophobic. A little education for you, Cardi B. Uh, Donald J. Trump is the first president that's ever gone into office in support of gay marriage. So, you know, those eight years that your presidential candidate, Joe Biden, spent um, as a vice president with about Obama, they didn't support gay marriage going into office. Obama changed his tune on gay That's marriage true. in his um, second term. That's true. So the whole idea of Trump being a homophobe is a bit pointedly ridiculous and shows how uneducated you are. Then you came and you were talking about ta raising your taxes when you were on talking to Joe Biden, saying that you want your taxes lowered, but at the same time you want universal health care. That's ignorant and stupid, and Joe Biden knows it's ignorant and stupid. Even all the people that want free health care and universal health care acknowledge that tax rates have to be astronomical to be able to support that. So you're talking about a 74% tax rate. You continually keep saying you have a number one song. It means shit. Nobody cares about a song about your wet ass pussy. Excuse my language Facts. for my followers. Um, being, num being number one, I have a number one song in the UK, I have a number one song in Australia, I have a number one song in New Zealand. That has nothing to do with black America and whether or not you are helping or hurting. Right now, you are hurting black America. True. Okay? When you stand on a platform and you pretend to care about black men, when you ask Joe Biden, what are we going to do about, about pretending to care about black men? Pretend to care about black women? Just look at the destruction of what's going on with, with social media. With women, women are destroyed. Black women are destroyed. We we're a con. Black women, you're a con to shake your asses like that. This is what they teach you to keep you dumbed down, to keep you uneducated. Black men, this is what they teach you to be on some hood shit. Grab a gun, protect your your hood. You know, sell drugs. You know what I mean? Come on, man. Like they dumbed down us for years, man. This shit is crazy. I think, honestly, that... I don't know. I could be wrong. But I even think that Cardi B might be, like... She might be, uh... Under the influence. You know what I'm saying? She may not mean to say the things she's saying. I don't know. Maybe she's not aware Maybe she needs guidance, man. Some people, to get through to that, man, you can't beat them down and, and deteriorate them or talk down on them. You got to learn to understand people. Like, with Republicans, you got to understand them as well, their conservative values. You also got to understand Democrats and liberals understand their values. I listen to both parties, man. I honestly listen to both parties. Kind of like Charlemagne now Because he was just all Democrats But now he's starting to open up his mind a little bit And want to find out a little bit more about the Republican side Because they are conservative Christians And we also see there's a lot of Heavenly bad influence On the mainstream media Which turned a lot of us Inside out You know 
we start forgetting our traditional values as Americans, man. And you know what? All of us as Americans, no matter what race we are, we were born in this country. We are Americans. So guess what? You need to start acting like Americans. Not even acting like it. Being like Americans. We don't need to be acting. We got to be like America. America is falling apart right now because everybody's confused and nobody knows what to believe anymore. Am I speaking the right truth on things? Right truth, oh God. Am I speaking the truth on things? You can tell me if I'm wrong. You can tell me if I'm right. You know, I ain't gonna hate you either way. You have a right to your opinion. Just like I do. About these black men dying. He should have asked you back. What are black men gonna do about black men dying? Because 94% of black men are killed by other black men. Mm -hmm. Okay, we don't have an issue with police officers. In fact, if you go into those inner cities and you go into those projects, they need more policing. So you're a fraud. You're sitting here saying, making it seem like you are, you're afraid of police officers. Are you afraid of your husband? You're more likely to be killed by your husband. Way more likely to be killed by your husband than you are by a police officer. And you know that, right? That's actually true. I mean, if you really look at it, not saying uh, Offset would do something to Cardi B, but... Is the truth of the matter is this she you know it's a hard pill to swallow but she has a better chance being killed by her husband than she does by a police officer in a way yeah if you look at the statistic rates I'm just saying I mean you can't hate facts it's, when it's hitting in your face man no matter what you, oh shit she got a point there hey you may not like a black some black folks may not like her but you gotta give her some credit. She's only showing a, ref a mirror reflection of what you look like. Just saying, she's a hard pill to swallow, but I respect her. You know that black men kill more white men. You know that police officers are killed by black men 18 and a half times more, right? So don't use your platform and 75 million people to make it seem like police officers are the issue. You're uneducated. I mean, that is just what it is. You are uneducated. And I don't have a problem, by the way, with musicians and rappers and hip-hop artists dabbling in politics if they're sincere. What I mean by that is, are you talking to people on both sides? Are you trying to actually get a, an informed understanding? Or are you just being a mouthpiece for one party? Charlemagne the God has multiple people on his This is what I talk about. It's me being an independent person. I'm independent. I'm not a mouthpiece for one... Well, I'm not to say Republican. But one reported party. Like a Republican or Democrat, you know what I'm saying? So, I just, I just look at how shit is right now and how the world is. We're just all fucked up, bro. <laughs> Say it. We all messed up, man. But I just wish that we could all just get back to normal life, man. Damn. And I guess the world would be so boring without chaos and drama. Let's keep playing platform he's talked to republicans he's friends with uh senator tim scott talks to him he's a, a trump supporter he's had uh vice presidential candidates presidential candidates on his show on the breakfast club well he's a serious he asks serious questions he doesn't sit down with joe biden and say oh grr. in fact <laughs> joe biden wasn't comfortable when charlemagne the god was sitting down and speaking to him because charlemagne the god was asking so many difficult questions he was you're absolutely right though because it seemed that if you guys look at that interview, which I'm not going to put up, but if you guys saw that interview with Charlemagne the God and uh, Joe Biden, Joe Biden kind of seemed a little bit uncomfortable. Like he didn't really want to answer like the real tough questions about black America. You know what I'm saying? It just seemed like Joe Biden just, <laughs> he seemed just like, <laughs> just joking around, goofing around with with uh with fucking cardi b and shit he ain't taking her seriously he took charlemagne seriously because charlemagne was just getting down to the point so what are you what are you about to do for black america what are you gonna do for chicago's and schools that's what we want to know listen we just want to know what you're gonna do for us what do you plan on doing for us he couldn't get to those questions man and made Charlemagne think to himself like, damn, I think I might be voting for the wrong political party. So secretly, deep down inside, Charlemagne probably thinking to himself like, man, I might as well just keep Trump in this motherfucker. <laughs> might as well keep Trump in there, man. Let's keep playing. 
I wasn't just giving him a Santa Claus list like you were. I want this. I want that. I want this. I want that. And none of it makes sense. <laughs> if you're serious about politics, if you're serious about trying to use your platform for good, then you need to educate yourself. Yeah. That's literally all anybody is saying to you is that you need to actually educate yourself and do the work. By the way, I'm not in your zone. You're in mine. Okay? So I get tired of your commenters and your fans saying, oh, she... I am not in your zone. You're in mine. Do you know how powerful those words are? That's a woman that has control over her mind and her body and her spirits, and she's not letting anybody tell her what she needs to do. Shout out to Candace. Rather you hate her or you don't like her, or you love her or you can't stand her, or whatever, you gotta respect her opinion. You gotta respect her choices online. But she's speaking a lot of truth, and I, I'm tired. See, women like her are tired of the Cardi B's putting down how black women are really supposed to be. Now listen, you could tell by just the way she looked, you could tell she could get real hood if she wants to. <laughs> she probably will whoop the shit out of Cardi B. See, Cardi B is all about mouth, man. These women that's all about mouths be the ones that want to pick up shit and throw it at you. They ain't, they ain't about that fighting shit. This woman right here, Candace Owens, she look like she can kick some ass though. I'm just saying. She used to be a bodybuilder, didn't she? Man? She ain't no, she ain't no joke. But anyway, just keep playing. Educate yourself. That's literally all anybody is saying to you is that you need to actually educate yourself and do the work. By the way, I'm not in your zone. You're in mine. Okay, so I get tired of your commenters and your fans saying, oh, she's clout chasing. I'd be clout chasing if I was challenging you to a rap battle. I'm not doing that. You're in my area. You're in politics. You're embarrassed because you realize you know nothing about anything when you're on Twitter. Ooh. You actually told a, a lie just now to all of your followers. You said, oh, Trump, uh, A, you said Trump told people to drink bleach. He never did that. Then you said Trump laughs when black men get shot by police officers. What? How do you just put out a lie like no, that? Hold on, man. I ain't never seen no Trump laughing at black people getting shot. I ain't never seen that. Nah, that's, that's, nah, nah. You can't be lying on shit like that, man. Come on, I know y'all don't like Trump, and that's cool, but y'all can't be lying on that man like that. He never laughed at no shit like that. <laughs> Come on, man, that shit is crazy. It's just the thought about it, man. It's crazy, man. Let's keep playing. How, how do you consider yourself to be a serious person when you just outwardly lied to all of your followers? You know he's never laughed at a black man dying at police officers' hands. You know that for a fact. You can't pull a clip. Not even CNN, with all of their bullshit and lies, has ever claimed that Donald Trump laughs when black men die at police officers. But you told that lie in a tweet. Why did you tell that lie? Because you're a fraud. So I'm calling you out on being a political fraud. You pretend you want to help. You don't. You don't. You don't know why you're a Democrat. You have no idea why you hate Republicans. You have no idea why you're on the side of the party that enslaved black people, that segregated black people, and standing behind a man that supported segregation. Joe Biden supported segregation. He said it's what black people wanted. So, let's just recap all of that. By the way, YouTube, please don't put this down. Please don't bring this down. This is just me just making a response video to Ben Sharpro. So, shout out to Ben Sharpro, by the way. Me making a response to Ben Sharpo's interview. I think this is hilariously funny. Uh, shout out to uh, <laughs> Candace Owens. And shout out to Cardi B, by the way, too. Let's keep playing. You're concerned about homophobia. For the eight years that Joe Biden was in office, him and Obama didn't support gay marriage until the second term, but not when he was running for the second term. They didn't support gay marriage going into that office. You claim that you're concerned about racism and dying black men, yet you want to defund police officers. That makes entirely no sense. You cannot defund the people that are actually protecting black people. Black people need more policing in their neighborhoods, not less of it. And by the way, in those neighborhoods, there are black police officers that are dying because it tends to be that police officers look like the neighborhoods that they're policing. So you are actually staying on a platform for more black men to die, for taxes to be raised, right? For a man that has a very atrocious... Hold on, man. I got to rewind this back. Can't... Candace Owens is just hitting it with the real straight facts, though. It's hard for people to swallow this pride, man. But y'all gotta swallow this shit, man. Candace Owens does her, her work, man. She does her political history homework 
on what happened. And I've even done it too. I've told it, man, on what the Democratic Party and what the what the Republican Party was all about, man. The South and the North, man. And it goes into deep history, man. This is all deep history, man. But listen, man. I'm just going to say it like this around with, with Donald Trump and Donald Trump's defense because he really doesn't really have nothing to do with these two. But I'm just going to say this, man. You know, Donald Trump wasn't a racist before he decided to become or run for president of the United States. Uh, in fact, nobody even, oh, everybody knew him as, uh, yeah, he's the casino guy. And many blacks liked Donald Trump. They analyzed Donald Trump because everybody wanted to be like Donald Trump. And now Donald Trump is, you know, going for presidency. It's... Uh, so everybody hates him club. It's crazy. Let's keep playing. You go into those projects. They need more policing. So you're a fraud. You're sitting here saying, making it seem like you are, you're afraid of police officers. Are you afraid of your husband? You're more likely to be killed by your husband. Way more likely to be killed by your husband than you are by a police officer. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I've went, went back too far. I apologize. Let's keep playing. A problem, by the way, with musicians and rappers and hip-hop artists dabbling in politics if they're sincere. What I mean by that is are you talking to people on both sides? Are you trying to actually get a, an informed understanding? Or are you just being a mouthpiece for one party? Charlemagne the God has multiple people on his platform. He's talked to Republicans. He's friends with uh, Senator Tim Scott. Talks to him. He's a, a Trump supporter. He's had uh, vice presidential candidates, presidential candidates on his show, on The Breakfast Club. But he's a serious, he asks serious questions. He doesn't sit down with Joe Biden and say, oh, grr. in fact, Joe Biden wasn't comfortable when Charlemagne the God was sitting down and speaking to him because Charlemagne the God was asking so many difficult questions. He wasn't just giving him a say doing that. You're in my area. You're in politics. You're embarrassed because you realize you know nothing about anything when you're on Twitter. You actually told a, a lie just now to all of your followers. You said, oh, Trump, uh, A, you said Trump told people to drink bleach. He never did that. Then you said Trump laughs when black men get shot by police officers. Yeah. How do you just put out a lie like that? How how do you consider yourself to be a serious person when yeah, you just? I'm not really for that because he, he Trump didn't say that shit. Come on, man. Let's just be real. Trump didn't say that on national TV, man. I swear that. Come on, man. He the president, man. Listen, man. I know he got a few loose, uh, a few loose screws and shit, but come on, man. He ain't gonna do that shit. Let's keep playing. Outwardly lied. To all of your followers, you know he's never laughed at a black man dying at police officers' hands. You know that for a fact. You can't pull a clip. Not even CNN, with all of their bullshit and lies, has ever Facts. claimed that Donald Trump laughs when black men die at See, police officers. Talk about CNN and MSNBC, man. Man, that's why I talk about man with the propaganda, the BS that's being put out here, man, to overshadow what's really going on. Fake ass news, man. It's the, but these new these fake news reporters have been working for the National Inquiry for the longest time. Good God. Let's keep playing. But you told that lie in a tweet. Why did you tell that lie? Because you're a fraud. So I'm calling you out on being a political fraud. You pretend you want to help. You don't. You don't. You don't know why you're a Democrat. You have no idea why you hate Republicans. You have no idea why you're on the side of the party that enslaved black people, that segregated black people, and standing behind a man that supported segregation. Joe Biden supported segregation. He said that's what black people wanted. So let's just recap all of that. You're concerned about homophobia. For the eight years that Joe Biden was in office, him and Obama didn't support gay marriage until the second term, but not when he was running for the second term. They didn't support gay marriage going into that office. You claim that you're concerned about racism and dying black men, yet you want to defund police officers. That makes entirely no sense. You cannot defund the people that are actually protecting black people. Black people need more policing in their neighborhoods, not less of it. And by the way, in those neighborhoods, there are black police officers that are dying because it tends to be people need more policing in their neighborhoods yo you can't lie about that i mean we get hypnotized with no we can't have these polices in our neighborhoods and shit but listen really and truly we got issues with with gang warfare man like in, in certain areas they need to send some sort of u.s marshal out there to clean that shit up i mean some black people may not like that shit and that's cool but do you want to see more black people, innocent people, toddlers and shit die in Chicago? Like, come on, man. That Yo, Chicago's messed up right now. I mean, listen, we can't. It's it's getting too much with that shit, man. Chicago got to stop. We, we got we to gotta do something about the violence out there, man. 
come on, man. That that that's man. I just hate to see black. I hate to hear when black young kids die, man. That shit is that shit is sad, boy. It sucks. It's after the point where rappers are dying. Young rap kids who get in a game are dying early. It's not just the rap kids. It's just kids. Period. P- kids are not. They're not. They're not getting a chance to shine and make it. They're killing off their generation. They just killing off their generation, man. It's sad. That police officers look like the neighborhoods that they're policing. So you are actually saying on a platform for more black men to die, for taxes to be raised, right? For a man that has a very atrocious race record to be put into office, who looked at you the entire time like he was confused when you were talking because he knew that you were nothing but a puppet for him to be able to get a platform. Yeah. That's it. You're a puppet. They use you. Okay. And you want to They say- use you as a puppet. I need to rechange this, uh, this, uh, this whole thing of Candace versus Cardi B, because this is just logic versus illogical. And you can see the passion from Candace Owens actually cares about Cardi B. That's the sad thing about it is the craziest thing is I think Candace Owens is a fan of Cardi B's. She actually likes her music, but then she started to see what it was doing to women and not just to women, but the society of what this political party represents. And that is the fall in age of traditional values. It sucks, man. Our ancestries didn't want this to happen, man. Not like this. Sit here and talk about Trump using me, or, or, or like, what do you, what do you, what do you talk about using me for what? I don't work for the RNC. I don't get paid by the Trump campaign. I say what I believe. You don't know what to do when you're looking at a black woman that's free. That's what your problem is. I am telling you who I support, and I'm educated, and I'm challenging you to become educated. I'm challenging you to sit down with black conservatives. Okay. See, a lot of black women ain't gonna like her, and some black women will love her. But I think that a lot of black women are going to start to love her now because a lot of them were hating her at first, but they're starting to really wake up and see what the fuck is going on. Black women, y'all need to support Candace Owens. Black men, you need to support Candace Owens. I'm just being real right now. Just analyzing the whole situation for what it is. Even though I'm not a hardcore of any political party, you got to listen. There's a cycle that's been going on in the black community for years and we all know it and it's been going on for the longest time and guess what the hispaniards the hispanic people who are coming over here they're following the same type of pattern so guess what when their culture gets fucked up by our culture they blame us but they don't realize it's not just us it's the people who are on the strings controlling us but they blame it on black folks because they are the centerpiece of this destruction. Candace always is trying to make y'all wake up, bro. Let's keep playing. And have a meaningful conversation and a dialogue about what you actually want and to actually try to understand the economics behind what you want and to try to understand why it is you're actually supporting a man that does not care about black lives and never has and has been in office for decades and hasn't changed anything and you're blaming Trump? It makes no sense. You hate Trump because they told you to hate Trump. You gave me no valid reasons for hating Trump. Not a single one, not even one valid reason for why you hate Trump. You just think you're supposed to because you're a puppet. Mm. That's what happens when you get big. Look, Cardi, I enjoyed you a lot on Love & Hip Hop. I thought you were hilarious. Second I first saw you on TV, I said to my cousin, she's going to be a star. She has that it factor. She's very funny. You know, she's confident and she says ridiculous things. I think you belong on TV. I don't believe. I totally agree with her, man. Cardi B is a wonderful actress, man. I'm telling you, she's a she's funny. She's hilariously funny, and she does belong on TV. But as far as politics goes, I got to agree with Candace Michelle. I mean, did I call you Candace Michelle? I'm sorry, sweetheart. Candace Owens. I got to agree with Mrs. Owens. Is that, listen, you got to give respect where respect is due. She's speaking the truth. She's a fan of Cardi B's, but we don't want to see Cardi like this anymore. I mean, especially a a woman that has a kid and a mother, you know what I'm saying? We want her to be like the parent Cardi B now. If y'all feel me, I don't want her to be ratchet anymore. 
Man, you got a kid now, man. It's time to grow up, people. I believe you belong in the realm of, realm of politics unless you're willing to get serious about it. In conclusion, tonight I was just signing books, and I'm going to send you one because you need one. You need to learn. You need to black out. You need to black sit. Woo! You need to learn about the real history of the Democrat Party. See that sub. Preach it, sister. You need to black out. Black out. What do you mean by black out? You trying to black your ass out? Like what? I'm trying to. I'm trying to understand this shit. I ain't trying to black out of my blackness. <laughs> black America can make it second. Escape the Democratic plantation, don't you see? Escape the Democratic plantation, black folks. It is a plantation. This whole shit is a plantation. No matter where we are, we need to escape from everything. I'm just saying. Title, how black America can make it, make it second escape from a Democrat plantation. You wanna know why it says second, Cardi, and not first? Because we were enslaved by Democrats, Ooh. not Republicans, okay? We were enslaved by Democrats, not Republicans. So I'm gonna sign you a copy. Get in touch with my agent and get in touch with your agent. I'm going to send it to your house. Facts, though. Okay? How's that for WAP? Okay? Bye. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. She killed Cardi B. She, like, like, like in politics-wise. But anyways, guys, I'm your host, Andrew, 26101 Show. Those of y'all who are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Follow me on Instagram. Follow me on Twitter. I'm out.